Many people out there have felt the approach of great change in the world, felt disturbed by it, concerned by it, concerned that people around them are not responding or don't seem to want to know anything about it. Big signs from the world. I'm not talking about subtle things here. I'm talking about crushing powerful forces where the entire climate of regions of the world can change to such a point that it'd be more difficult for people to live there. This is the scope of world change we're talking about. We've reached a point now where we've unleashed powerful forces in the world. And the world will change on its own, beyond our control. It's not the end times, it's not the end of humanity, but it is a time of great calling, great preparation, and great need. First, I think the most important thing is to recognize we're entering into a new world reality. We're not just in a period of accelerating change, we're entering into a different kind of world. It's gonna be much more turbulent, much more unstable. And if you think about these great storms continuing and their impact upon people, you'll see that it will generate human suffering, uh, human refugees on a scale never seen before, which is already destabilizing many countries in the world today. You'll begin to look ahead and, and connect what these signs are telling you. And this isn't something that's going to happen tomorrow or next week or next month. This is, this is the movement of the world, but it's moving on its own now. And of course, the more we contaminate the air, the soil, and the waters of the world, the greater will be the impact upon us going forward. Look to your children and think what kind of world you're giving to them, what kind of world they're going to have to navigate, economically, socially, politically. This all follows from the great ways of change. It's great turbulence, conflict, and uncertainty, which we're seeing in the world today already. We have a growing population in a world of slowly diminishing resources and opportunities. We need to look at this without the darkening shadow of conspiracy theories, thinking that someone else is to blame, or the world's being governed by a handful of individuals. It's not the case. We're entering into a chaotic world, and we are unprepared for it. Well, whatever humanity does or does not do in the face of these great ways of change, we are given a great power, a great power that is not afraid of change in the world. Without this, we're governed by social forces, governed by the opinions of others, political persuasion. We're governed by conspiracy theories. We're governed by uh, fanciful notions of the future. We're not in touch with reality, but there's something within us that's deeply in touch with reality. It is here to prepare us for that reality, for it knows what is coming. It's the only part of us that's really reliable, strong, and determined. It's here to take us out of our haphazard lives, to give us a greater purpose and direction in a rapidly changing world. It's the most important part of us. It's who we were before we came into this world, who we will be when we leave this world. It's the center of our being. This is the amazing thing is that the great ways of change are the things that will call greatness out of us. They're a wake up call. If you're feeling stirred, it's time to become connected, really connected to what's happening within you. Consider that you're here in the world to, be, to participate in these times of great change. And it will activate within you greater things to come forward, a greater service to be rendered, a greater compassion for humanity. They will require that you forgive others and forgive yourself and release your condemnation of people and circumstances and events. You have to go in this with an open heart and clear eyes. This will bring you out of yourself. This will call you something greater within you. You are here to be a part of this. You are here to respond to this. You are here to give something to what humanity will need in the future.